Hello everyone and welcome back to more Let's Play at Lair Iris. We are headed to Eden Temple to talk to Cruz and check out the library. Yeah, let's let's talk to you first. Visa, you came. Huh? Who's this? Oh, her name is Iris. She's been staying at my house for a while now. You hadn't heard of her? No, I haven't heard anything about her. So, her name is Iris. Oh, I'm sorry, did I scare you? Oh no, she's just shy. <laughs> anyway, I heard you had new information about the Azoth. Oh yes, please come with me. To the library? Yeah. Normally, I am the only person allowed to enter this room. Ah! But these are special times. <gasps> Ooh! What is this place? This is a secret library that contains alchemy techniques of the highest level. What I wish to show you lies at the deepest part of the library. There's a chest, too. This is the book. <clears throat> Master Alchemist of the Slaith Era. It begins on this page. Palaxius is considered by many to be the greatest alchemist who ever lived. But the great, greatest alchemist isn't necessarily the most skilled at alchemy. The most skilled at alchemy is none other than his apprentice, Elusmus. With these two masters working together, alchemy advanced faster than any other time in history. However, the... The Azos that they created ended that prosperity in an instant. Palaxius created the Crimson Azoth, and Elusmus created the Azur Azoth. The Crimson Azoth decimated an entire region, resulting in Lake Midgard's creation. A winter-like hardship followed this tragedy of alchemy. Palaxius and Elusmus. I know a little about Palax... Pal... Pal... Palaxius. Oh my god. He's a master alchemist with many accomplishments to his name, but... But... They say that he was very dangerous and would do anything to attain his goals. This Crimson Azoth. It's very likely that it was born from his own insanity. Easy. I shall allow you to have full access to this library. Sweet. Are you sure? It felt report... Felch report is correct. Then he may be facing an extraordinary enemy. You are the only one who can help him. I understand. Thank you. Well, I'm going back upstairs. Okay. Well, what is this? I wonder what's inside this treasure chest. What is this? God, that... that at, this one's actually creepy looking. I'm finally free! Is this Faustus? I am Faustus, the, dr the dream mana. Interesting. We were playing hide and seek when I got stuck in that box. <laughs> You're a real lifesaver. Your tail is too long for your body. <laughs> yes, I know. Oh, I know. Miss Alchemist, will you make a pact with me? Are you sure? Absolutely. I can't risk getting stuck in that box again. And hide and seek is all we play. Please. Mana, the father of power, the mother of life, the source of all nature. I, Vise Blanchemont, have pledged to uphold the sacred tenets of Lilith. In honor of that pledge, I have come to form a pact with Faustus, the Dream Mana. The Dream Gem. Dreams are a part of my, of the human condition. My power lies within them. Huh. Wonder if we'll need to like start going to bed or something. Master Alchemist of the Slave Era. Okay, so this is just what we had read earlier. 
They say that he was very dangerous and would do anything to attain his goals. May have been born from his own sanity. Okay, we already learned about that. We can climb back up. No, 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 no. Go back down. What is this? A study of hexiglass crystal? The hexiglass crystal is made naturally through the buildup of air. It is a rare crystal that can only be found at the top of windy hills. Hexiglass improves the body's reaction time. Hmm. Hexiglass improves reaction time. This could be useful. I'll borrow this book too. By changing materials, you may be able to make new items. Yep, we have, we've already kind of like established that. Alchem Alchemic history, huh? Looks like this book has some useful recipes written inside it. I better check it out. Grappling hook! Yes! Take another look at the items you already have you have already used in synthesis. Hmm. All right, we can now make a grappling hook. We're going to need to make a lot of those. Now that we have some new recipes, you want to go back to the workshop? Yes. We have the grappling hook that we're going to make cuz then we can immediately just go straight to uh, the windmill hills or whatever they're called, weather vane hills. We're home! <laughs> God damn it, why is she so adorable? <laughs> May I synthesize upstairs? Sure, but be careful. <laughs> Looks like she's getting used to being here. Okay, let's see what happens when I do this. Bize, what are you doing? Well, remember when we found that study on hexaglass back in the library? Now I'm trying to come up with a recipe that uses that item. Oh. Yes! Did it work? Yes, my recipe is finished. Vize's recipe. You now have the recipe for Vize charm. So, what did you learn how to make? Just a little good luck charm. I think this charm will make Phelps' mission just a little safer. I see. The only problem is, I don't know if we can find enough hexaglass. Okay, we literally just went through that. Windy Hills. A windy hill. Hey, I haven't made a pact with a wind mana yet. Let's go to Weathervane Hill and make another pact. Alright, but in order to do that, we need a grappling hook, because we already tried this. No, wait, I have fossils. Okay, I need silver acid, which looks like... Same sort of recipe as a manatini. Fine shield. I could make a Divine Shield, but we'd get rid of our only blue bracer. Okay, Grappling Hook. Climb high heights, enemy speed down, enemy defense down. I need more cotton cloth and more ore. Okay. We're going to need to make a lot of that. Alright, well, before we do anything, let's go here. Buy five ores. Sell. Do I have something I have a lot of that I can sell? Fifteen for the Yadok Fungo. 
13 for the super news. 55 for flower. 72 for the red legion, but it's not a lot of money. I guess that for now. Does uh, this one up here sell cotton cloth? I would like to get a star piece so we can stop having that activate around us. Does not. Where can I get cotton cloth from? Oh, probably, probably just um. Grand? Okay, so where are we? We're here. Not exactly where I want to be. Alright, we'll come down this way. Couple of locations to check. Now I'm hoping with Grand, this is more of a grocery store, but I'll still check it. Um, I seriously don't have, oh, I might have a totem shield equipped, which is why it's not showing up. Um, You're the magic shop. I don't think you would have anything I need. Okay, the fact that I have to run around now to try and find some cotton. Does camp have anything? Max is spying on Fort Zayung today. We have the traveling merchant here. But you don't have what I need. There is, um... I guess West Regenbogen? Or is this just the bridge? That's just the bridge. Is this still off limits? Yep. Okay. All right, Tatalia, maybe? Up here? Hello, how may I help you? No cotton cloth. Hmm. Nothing here really to... Feral. Nothing really here that also helps, I don't think. I guess we would need to make, like, Tundra Cotton. And I guess we go without the Cotton Cloths, we go with... Or no. How am I so stupid? That's the wrong way. Okay, go up. Thank you. 
So that went all the way to the holy path. Let's just do Grand City. Um, I can just make cotton cloth. Duh. God. That's weapon. Switch back to Vise. Uh, accessory. No. Alchemy. Cotton cloth. Synth synthesize five of these. Okay. Now we mana item the grappling hook. I can do it with black belts later. Yeah, we'll make five of them. Get at least quite a few to start. Alright, grappling hook it is. I'm, I'm done. I made a grappling hook. What is that? We'll be able to climb up cliffs with this. Okay. But we'll need to... We'll need something to hook it onto at the top. I want to climb. Well, I think you're a little too young to start climbing. This is a JRPG. I'm actually 157 million years old. I only look for. <laughs> All right, Weather Rain Hill. I don't think I need any of those. Use a grappling hook. Ooh, does that just stay there now? Ooh, I will take Aroniums. It's actually very nice. Sound mana. Look at the windmills! Love me a good windmill. Ah. Ooh. Here we go. Green mana. That was aroma, huh? Oh, oh that's sound mana. Uh, super news. That was wood. Ah, I can't tell my colors. We're getting a little lo low on the Yugdore waters. This should grow well. Like, it makes me think there's another growth serum that we're going to be able to create. Now well, there's that way. But there's also this. Wind, eternal longing. Every land-bound creature longs to ride the winds. Okay, where does this go? Oh, just right here. And then right here. Ooh. More Aronium. Another uh, chest. Glowing mana is good. Okay, just for extra stuff there, so we need to go back, back again, and now over here. Uh, you know what? This way. Okay, just a couple of extra mana orbs. Another one? Ugh. 
I hope five is going to be enough. I mean, I have to go this way. Be foolish not to. That was poisoned. Storm. Lightning Rod. Ooh. Where does this take me? Oh, that's all the way back. We don't need to go this way. That's back to the entrance. That looks different, but... My colorblindness is not doing me any favors here right now. <laughs> Huh? There's no one here. Oh, hello. You must be an alchemist. It must be difficult. It must have been difficult to get here, huh? It was a little hard. Have you come to all this way to make a pact? Yes, I did. Great. It gets pretty boring standing here all day. Making a pact with you might be fun. Well, that was easy. Easy? I decided to make a pact be because you seem pretty nice. But I could act like a prima donna and demand you bring me things and perform pointless tasks first. Would you prefer me to do that? Oh, no, no. I'll gladly accept your offer. Nana, the father of power, the mother of life, the source of all nature. I, Vise Blanchemont, have pledged to uphold the sacred tenets of Lilith. In honor of that pledge, I have come to form a pact with Silwest, the Wind Mana. Yay, the Wind Gem! So happy we met. Um, sorry I didn't listen to your little chant. Hehe. <laughs> My name is Vise Blanchemont. Cool. Nice to meet you, Vise. Can you do me a favor? You see. So you want to make a charm for this boy? Yes. That's wonderful. Why is that? Staying up all night making trinkets for your hardworking and deserving husband. You're a model wife. <laughs> No, he's not my husband, and I will stay all up all night, just till 11.30. Now, now that I know what you're up against, I, Silwest the Awesome, will have your back. For instance, I think there's some hexagram glass around here somewhere. Really? Yeah, let's go find it. Sweet. Uh, if we go back this way, is there a path to the right? No. I feel like I've been everywhere, though. I mean, is this it? Large Aronium. It's not there. Whatever. Oh, that was air. The air looked blue. It didn't look clear. Okay. Leave here. Hey, that's... Ah. Yep, that's hexiglass, all right. But how do I get up there? Leave that to me. Look, Ma, I'm flying. Thank you. Let's go back to my workshop and start synthesizing. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Nymph, what are you doing here? I heard that it reappeared. All right, so we now have Faustus. We now have Silwest. We now have the ability to climb, but we're limited at the moment. 
the only thing left, I think that we need for um, exploration would be a Terra Flame. Okay, now that we have the Hex Glass we needed, let's start synthesizing my charm. Well, I want to see what else we have. The pill we can't do. Just I'm just double checking again. The divine shield. The divine shield I can, but we're going to wait. Lightning rod. We need a lightning stone. Basilisk guy, I don't have the right items. This element, I'm still missing an item. So it's not an app, it's not an accessory. A homemade charm, it looks plain, but it has the power of love inside of it. Extra blow as a skill. Ooh. That's my only cotton. <laughs> All right, Visa charm. Probably only need the one, so. All done. This is really going to make Felt's job a lot easier. Then I have to report the new info I found at the library. Knowing you, you probably didn't read the book. It says that the most skilled alchemist in history was Pat Palaxius. But many believe the best alchemist was actually his apprentice, Elusmus. Together, these two ushered in a golden age of alchemy, but together they developed the masterpiece of their alchemy careers, the Azoth. Palaxius created the Crimson Azoth, while Elusmus created the Azur Azoth. With his Azoth, Palaxius wiped out an entire region. This led to a dark age in alchemy. The Crimson Azoth was created by the mad alchemist Palaxius. From the greatest sword to a piece of candy, everything should be made for a purpose. So, what purpose did Palaxius create the Crimson Azoth for? Vise? Yes? You're worried about felt, aren't you? Maybe just a little. I'm sure he'll be okay. After all, he does have my charm. Okay. Felt will be okay, won't he? All right, back to Felt. Your fighting save Eden, not just for the sake of fighting. As long as you keep that in mind, you will never lose your way. If we had it my way, nobody would have to fight. I'm always worried about your safety. To stop you from worrying, I made a charm for you. It has hexiglass in it to make you stronger. Just wear it and it should work. I found some new information for you in a book called Alchemist of the Slaith Era. I think you'll find it to your liking. Please take care of yourself, Felt. Thanks, Vise. I'll use this with care. I'm home! What's going on? Why do you look so happy? N no reason. Can I just be happy? Beacon of Revolution. How many episodes are there going to be? <laughs> There's been no change at the Imperial camp. Busting through that many soldiers is going to be hard. After that riot, I'm sure Galahad's keeping his soldiers on their toes. It won't be easy. Well, the workshop is in the woods anyways. Let's just go through the dark forest now. It is dangerous, but it can't be worse than the camp. I agree. Is there a path in the woods that goes south? Ah, sweet Noin, so blissfully naive. Obviously, the frightful beast can guide us through safely. Oh, 
Since they live in the dark forest, they must know their way around. I deserve a kiss. Sounds like a plan. Let's go to the hidden village first. Well, we're not going to go to the hidden village first. We are going to equip felt. We don't need... I don't think I... Yeah, I don't need you. I need... You. Extra blow. 999. Adds the chance to deal additional attacks during a normal attack. And then we're still doing the Manatini. Charge up. I wonder what charge up will do for us. Yep, so that is SP up. Uh, fee... I need to go back to, I think it was Poe, and give him the silver crowbar. And the black belt is now very close to being done. Okay, I think that's correct. And now, we can actually like do some weapon upgrades, I think for gray? Yes. So we now have a Thunderblade. Ooh, it's yellow. So that will then... That's an attack plus one. Or Infernal Blade. Well, that's going to be what we go for. Red Crystal and Etal. God, that's so much better than this one. <laughs> Alright, well, we have Thunder Breath that we're going to learn. Noin. Return gem or combo attack. We lose a lot of resistances. This is the weaker weapon, so let's do this one first. Now we have the meteor gauntlet. Oh, but see, then that's that gives us a new uh, attack there as well. Ooh, that really jumps our magic up. Ooh, and we might have to jump up there, but ooh, combo attack is only two hundred. All right, Poe, Terra Flame to get up there. Poe missile two to get down there. Oh, but it uses one of our grappling hooks. Yeah, I mean, I guess we we need to we need to get the weapon upgrades and all of that stuff. So there we go, the pistol mark three. What will that go to? Oh, okay, just with a mystery bullet with a damask ring. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine with that. And then we'll be, and then once we're done with this, we'll go to the next one. Okay. Only 250 for that. Pretty, pretty simple. Okay. Let's save. Because that's a lot of stuff that we just got. I do wonder how many episodes there are. We're already 15 episodes in, so like, and we're. Not even at level 30 yet. All right. Well. I guess we head to the uh, hidden village. Oh, you know where I kind of want to go, actually? I just thought of this real quick. Claire Village. Tonight I will sleep with peace in my mind. Thank you very much. That's not really what I was hoping for. Is it this one? I was kind of hoping like somebody moved in there and made a shop.
Huh. Oh, there's the golden door. That's right. Alright, well, I think when we come back, we are going to go to the Hidden Village and try working our way through the Dark Forest. So, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you then.